and salutations space cadets and today I'll be teaching you how to bring a model into Blender rig it all up export it to Unity and get it into VR chat first thing we gotta do get a model I already got one from Turbo Squid and it's a, a, a werewolf model what do you do after that first boom boom blender boom 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 blender good alright so I'm gonna be using a a plugin called cats well I would be I don't actually need it but you can use a program called cats and it will allow you to um, auto auto viasine things so that'll make it easier when you're doing your 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 talking alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to import uh, no not FPX uh, let me get the right one here OBJ go to where I have my werewolf saved which is in this folder here import it boom werewolf now it's big like it's real big so what I'm going to do is hit N it opens the uh, side panel here I'm going to switch over this to uh, meters so I can know how big it is. According to this, this is uh, 871 meters tall. I don't want it that tall. Let's say I want something about 7 feet tall. So simply go to Google 7 foot 2 meters. This will be important later. So I want it to be 2.1136 Let's shorten that to 2.13 meters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hit one numpad and five to get into ortho and front view. So I want to change right down here my Z to 2.13. Uh, well, I think that's the wrong one. Is this one 2.13? Nope. Two. Alright, two point one three. I want my Y. There we go. Now we have this uh looks fine from this point of view, right? Okay, so when we copy the scale here, change it there and there. Oops. Alright, switch back to perspective and boom. We have a, a character done. Okay, we have our werewolf. There's no textures on this, I believe. Yeah. Oh, and to remember, um, you want this number right here, these tries, to be 19,999 or less. Uh, because that'll make it easier on, on everyone's uh, computer and operating system. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is you may have to activate this under um, user preference and it's one of these many many things I don't remember what's what's default or not uh, oh yeah I turn on pi menu though so I can get a ring uh, I think it's rigify you want but after that you go to armature and I'm gonna use this um, this, this human meta rig here. So right now I'm going to move this werewolf back as you see here. So this rig right here has most of the things I need already. Which is great. It means I can be lazy. <laughs> but there are things I need to remove. Because there's, there's a lot in here I'm not using at all. So I'm going to go into edit mode. Uh, Let's see if I can get to my positions here. I'm gonna go ahead and select his face. If I can get all of it. So I'll, and so I'm gonna speed this up. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm going through removing all the non-needed bones. Uh, so I'll just speed this up for you guys. So as you see here, these are my bare minimum bones, except for right here these two bones I don't need these so I'm gonna go ahead and hit mix weights using cats and oh no I broke that 
mix weights are just one of them. Now this is my neck bone. Shield to hit uh, U shift, right click on both of these. Hit, oh, no, can't do that either. <laughs> right, so it's a different way here. So I want to go back. You know, I'm just going to hit Control J, J, Control J. Nope. Alright. So, a different way. Delete those bones. Select the two points, and you add one more. Boom. So, I need to do a little bit of straightening up for the model here. So go ahead, grab those. Move them back so they're about on the center line. Then go ahead, straighten these out. This is all to make life just a little easier. Select all those, straighten them out. Yeah, this this don't look too healthy. So another bone in there. There is. What is, it, what is this bone called? It's called spine six. Oh, it's called face. This one moves. Boom. Alright. Oh, so that's not actually... Huh. So, connected? Nope. Not to that one. Josie, what is this one called? I'm just called bone. So, reparent this one to bone. Those ones are connected. There we go. So, for right now, I'm going to try to straighten this armature as much as I possibly can. Uh, just because it'll run better. Okay. These also, right here, delete those. Select those. One bone. Chest. Uh, spine. And then pelvis. I'm going to see about straightening out the pelvis here. Right there. Straighten out the legs. There we go. So now we have a. Oh, yeah, don't want to forget. To, don't want to forget to save. So werewolf rigged. Save. Save. Okay. So now I have this. You may be wondering how do I get this to this? Well, simply what we want to do uh, is turn on. Uh, not axis. Turn on X ray, that way we can see through. Also, you don't want to forget to name things. So, head, that should be named to neck. Uh, this should be chest. This one is spine. This one should be. This one should be hips or pelvis. Thighs, shins, shins, foot, toes, and so forth. Okay, so now that all these, sorry, still got names. Uh, now that all the rules are set, what we can do is go ahead and take this and start putting it into the other model. So we'll start with the head, bring that just straight over into the head. Take this, bring it straight over, it's in the neck. Now there are better ways of doing this. You can also build this entire, uh, Entire mesh um, should be connected. You can. Sorry. <laughs> you can build all of this just from scratch if you wanted to, but I, that's not what I'm doing. I messed something up here. Hold on. Oh, I see. I see. See, this is why it's important to check your your bone parents. So this one right here should actually be parented to the spine. Oh, this one should be parent chest, chest to spine. There we go. That goes in there. This can actually come up a little bit. Where's bone bone? There it is. That comes in. Alright, now we're gonna do the legs a little simpler. Could have done this from the start too. Simply drag that in. Now I'm not entirely sure how this will uh, work out in the case of this. 
but uh, we'll find out, right? Because that'll make it bend right there. So it should actually be fine now that I'm looking at it. Bends right there. And this is all a foot. Let me see, it just goes right there. Alright, oh yeah, I'm hitting three on my numpad to um make it move. Just go right there. There we go. Alright, now we have the arms. Let's go ahead and select all these. Actually, you know what? Here's a trick. If you delete one side, you can you only have to do the work of one. Alright. So I'm gonna move those into to the arm. No, I'm just gonna skip this entire part. You know what you're doing by this point. Alrighty, so we have our hands all in together. We got them all placed nicely. Now what do we do after that? We take all of this, make sure it's all selected. Hit spacebar for your quick search. Put in symmetrize. Boom. All that work. Boom. Symmetry. Right over here. So now we don't have to do it again, as long as you have a even mesh. Alright, great. We have a skeleton. Now what? Now, before I forget, I'm going to quick add some bones in the tail here. That way it can sway a little bit. So this is for those adding tails to their model. So you might have your your bones here, but you need to duplicate this bone using Shift D. You get a new one. You know what? Just right click and rename it to Tail Base, and I'm just gonna add uh, WW on the end for Werewolf. I'm gonna go down here and make the parent to be Tail Base Werewolf. All right. So you have your mesh. You have your bones. Great. What do we do? Because we can't go to Unity yet. It's too early for that. What we have to do is uh, select the mesh, with right click, select the bones, hit Control P, and hit Automatic Weight Paints. Now you can always do this manually or you can do it this way. Uh, I do it this way just to get me a start. See, it does weight painting for me. It does an okay job. Of course, there'll be you know things you need to fix here and there. Oops, give your game to right click. So you know after you get the few things you need to fix, you can fix them. Uh, I'll probably fix. Well, I don't know how's that look going down. Okay. See how it's pulling too much here and there. I'm gonna fix that. Unfortunately, that doesn't get symmetrized over. Probably fix that a little bit. All these pieces should be fine. Alright, so you only have to test half the model because it's an even. Uh, let's see, Alt R for rotation. It's the foot. That. Make sure you got the head. So something I noticed when doing this, there's something controlling the head, and it's not just the head. As you notice, it'll squeeze back. It's probably the neck here. So while I'm in pose mode, I'm going to select the mesh, go into weight paint mode. Yep. It has parts of the face selected. So I'm going to go here to weight, turn it down to zero, then go ahead and just kind of scribble on the mesh. You can also go to wireframe mode either down here or press Z then you can see all the affected areas. So let me share a little bit of weight down here. But not quite up there. Yeah. A little 
higher in there. There we go. Now that moves. His face doesn't shrink. That doesn't happen. Check the chest. Good. Middle. Good. Bottom most. Uh, uh oh. What happened? Well, you know what happened? I I did not set the parent for the tail base. Which needs to be set to hips. Go back to pose mode. You can go back into white paint. Oops. I get the right one selected here. There we go. All fixed. Alright, I'm gonna fix up some of this white painting and I'll be back. Okay. So I have my white painting all figured out. Oh, well, not all, I just kinda did a little touch ups. Uh I have my model. Now this one doesn't have a texture right now. You texture it here. So I don't know. Let's just make it purple. Yeah, that works. Let's turn. Oops, not that one. This one. Alright. I have my my wolf. It has a tail. It has a head. It's got everything it needs. Alright, great. This is where we move on. So you want to select both things here, because of the way I'm showing you how to do this. Uh, make sure to save. Go to export. You can also use the one in Cats 2. Want to make sure it's an FBX when you export. So export FBX. Uh, we're going to save it in the same spot here. But look down here. Right down here is this important box. I have a preset for it, so I'll set it. So make sure it looks exactly as this does. You have to reselect this, I think, every time. I'm just going to do selected objects, because you might have a scene where you have multiple objects. So we'll rate, export, save, good. Alright, that's all we need for Blender right now. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and open up Unity here. I got Unity up and running. Uh, you want specifically 863P1, and then go to the VR Chat website to grab the SDK that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and just open uh, my regular uh, editing file because this might get put into one of my characters. I don't know yet. All right. So we first load in this assets folder and all this would just be, well, non-existent. There'd be nothing here except for a camera, directional light, and I think that's it actually. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into avatar, which is the folder I made. Uh, create new, it wants to be organized. Call it uh, low poly werewolf. Alrighty. Now, before you forget, what you want to do is when you go to put um, new new things inside, you want to make a uh, material file. So I'm gonna click name that. Boom, material. Uh, okay, so I have a material file now. So you want to go to import, um, and then go to wherever your uh, model is saved. I saved it in here, and it's right here. Uh, so it's this. Just want to quick look at this. Is. Open. Oh, okay. That's where you can paint your wolf in, or model, or whatever. I just need this right here. So import. So it makes a material file, and materials file. Uh, I suggest just putting your stuff in here and then you have to actually set all of it but before you bring this into this box get a humanoid hit apply boom good configure save you want to make sure it read everything correctly so hips good spine good chest good most of the time it should do this fine if as long as you named it right so head and neck yep here we go. Now, according to this, I'm missing a couple fingers. <laughs> Which 
We both know. We didn't miss any fingers. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to, let's see, it's index. Oh, let's see, let's find out what the name is, because it might be some weird funky name. So according to this, it is called Palm. Each one of these is Palm. So Palm, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and what's this one? And Thumb. So I need to go in here and go into index. This one is palm one. Change this one to index two. Or no, index one, my bad. And this one to be index two. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to go through and fix it for probably both hands here. Alrighty. So I have all my things fixed up here. Don't mind the text. Alright, I hit done. Boom. Done. Boom. Wolf. Good. End game. So at this point, you really don't have to do much. Now what I'm going to quick do is set up... um an avatar descriptor. You you need the avatar descriptor and a VR chat account. I should probably mention that earlier. But you need to have a VR chat account to um well do things. Oh yeah and to get this you simply go into assets, import package, and then you import the the VR chat SDK. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. Whoops. So you see, where is it? Where is the dot? One. There it is. So this dot right here is where you see. Okay. So two. Alright, so I'm gonna try to get as close as I can to his eye as I can. To his eyes. One, two, three, two, three, two, five, four, three, five, three, no, three, there we go, okay, four, four, three, five, five, right there, okay. So as I set, I'm gonna be it. What I'm gonna see is right there. Approximately. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and um, add something you have to purchase or see if you can find somewhere, which is a jiggle bone. So if I add component and if I hit dynamic, dynamic bones. I'm going to go ahead and set this to be uh, tail base WW. As you see, there's a, a few. So right now, if I hit play, go to scene, this tail moves around. But it's kind of weird <laughs> to put it for for a weird sense. So I'm going to go ahead and turn these to these settings, just to see what happens. It's a little stiff. But you know what? That's that's okay. Let's see what happens if I turn this down. I'm gonna turn that back. See if I turn this down, 0.01 happens. That happens. You don't want that to happen. I'm put it back to 0.1. But yeah, you can you play around with these settings. Do it whichever way you want it to be. I'll say this to the like 0.3 and call it a day for him. Just a quick. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
Okay, so I have the werewolf. I have other things. Now I'm going to go to settings, sign in, go to your uh, build control menu. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Publish and build. And that's it. I can now use this character in VR chat. Once this finishes, it'll future proof, and then it'll bring you to a section here in scene or game, in game, and you you name it, you can add a picture, and that's all you really need. So I thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.